Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is National Green Hydrogen Mission. This topic relates to environment and ecology section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. First of all, let's see why this topic is in the news. Recently, the Green Hydrogen Certification Scheme of India, GHCI, has been launched by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, MNRE. India has mandated green hydrogen producers to certify that their hydrogen is produced using renewable energy sources. This is part of the National Green Hydrogen Mission, which aims to produce 450,000 tonnes of green hydrogen over the next three to five years. Before moving further, an important announcement, the next offline batch of the IAS GS Foundation course, prelims plus mains, is starting soon at Drishti IAS, Noida. The English medium batch will begin on 7th May at 8 a.m. And Hindi medium batch admissions are now open. For more details, contact 87501-87501. Now let's discuss about Green Hydrogen Certificate Scheme. The Green Hydrogen Certification Scheme of India, GHCI, requires producers receiving government incentives to undergo annual verification. Small producers, less than 10 tons per year, are exempt, but they can voluntarily seek certification. Producers must register on the Green Hydrogen Certification Portal and submit verification data for emissions and renewable energy use. Export-only producers are exempt, but must report their emissions as per the importing country standards. Green Hydrogen Certificates will be tradable once India's carbon market launches in 2026. Now moving on to details about green hydrogen. It is produced using electrolysis of water with electricity generated by renewable energy. The carbon intensity ultimately depends on the carbon neutrality of the source of electricity. That is, the more renewable energy there is in the electricity fuel mix, the greener the hydrogen produced. Now let's discuss about National Green Hydrogen Mission. India launched the National Green Hydrogen Mission, NGHM, in January 2023. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, MNRE, is implementing the NGHM with a target to achieve a production capacity of 5 million tonnes per annum of green hydrogen in the country by the year 2030. Under NGHM, a dedicated portal was launched to provide information on the mission and steps for developing the green hydrogen ecosystem in India. Now is the time for previous year question from UPSC CSE Prelims 2023 exam. With reference to green hydrogen, consider the following statements. It can be used directly as a fuel for internal combustion. It can be blended with natural gas and used as fuel for heat or power generation. It can be used in hydrogen fuel cells to run vehicles. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.